Okay, guys, so this is your plan of this morning. You're going to go ahead and write reflections review, obviously, in there. And then what's happening in the situation? Hopefully, you already talked about what's happening with the situation. If we're going from x, y, this is a translation because you see a minus and a plus. You're adding or subtracting. And this is actually what? Left four, then up two. Correct. Now, when we go to the next slide, if you wanted to write this in your planner, that would be great somewhere just to kind of start memorizing this. And this is a little confusing looking, but really the idea of it, you're going to see how easy it is. It is not that difficult. And I'm actually going to do something right now. So you can see real quick, if I was to go ahead and take this, and if I was to make up a point, let's just say I made a point of five, seven, and I wanted to do it under this rule. On an x-axis reflection, the x stays the same. So this would be a reflection, and the x would stay the same, okay? And then what would change? The y. So this positive 7 would become a negative 7, okay? And if I was to look at the coordinate graph and I was to plot these points, the first point would be over 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It would be up here, and we're going to call this a and a prime. This is where a would be. It was 5, 7. And then we're going to go over 5. If we're going to reflect this, it would go over 5, down 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And now a prime, oh, that's an a. A prime is now still over 5, but it's now down 7. But the easiest way to look at it is the x never changes when it's an x reflection. As reflection, the x doesn't change. Now look at the y. Imagine this is the same point we're going to use, okay? Let me erase this, erase all this. We're going to use the same point, okay? And we're going to reflect this over, let me use a different color, over the y-axis. So it's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Ignore that. So over 5 up 7, you would go over here, it would be negative 5 up 7. And that's where a prime is. And it would be negative 5 up 7. Interesting. On a y-axis reflection, what stayed the same? The y. The y stays the same. And what happens? The x ends up switching. So that's what you have to learn today, the coordinate rules of it. All right? And let me show you one more thing. All right, if I'm looking at this one, this is, this is actually two homework problems for me, you guys. Homework tonight. If I'm looking at this one, it says reflected across the y-axis. So the y is going to stay the same. So look at all these y values. Do you see all your y values right here? Those are going to stay the same. So this is going to be negative 5 still, negative 3, 0, and negative 2. Okay? But what happens with the x's? The x's are the ones that are going to change. So it's going to be 1, 0, 2, and 4. That's how easy it is. You're just changing. So now look at this one. What's going to stay the same? The x-axis. So the x's are going to stay the same. 0, 1, 2, Four. And what's going to change? The y's. How can you change a zero? You can go opposite side of zero? No. Zero doesn't change. There's no, there's no value of zero. So it stays the same. Opposite of four is negative four, negative four, and then zero. Okay. Do the best you can. Hopefully this video helped.